Welcome to another video of time value of money where we will look at an example of loan amortization. Your company is planning to borrow rupees 500,000 on a 5 year 7% annual payment fully amortized loan. What fraction of the payment made at the end of the second year will represent repayment of principal. So let us understand this example on a time scale. So the loan is being taken for five years. Zero, one, two, three, four, and five. The amount being borrowed is 500,000 rupees or 5 lakh rupees so rupees 5 lakh is being borrowed the rate of interest per annum is 7% now we are being asked to find out what fraction of the payment made at the end of the second year will represent repayment of principal now since your company is borrowing an amount of 500,000 rupees, this amount will have to be repaid in the form of regular payments through the next five years back to the company from whom this amount is being borrowed. So let's say the amount of installment which is being repaid back to the company is PMT. So this represents the payment now we are being asked that what fraction of the payment made at the end of the second year. So of course I have taken these payments towards the end of each year so this first payment is being made at the end of the first year second payment is being made at the end of second year and so on now this payment which is being made at the end of the second year will comprise of interest and principal and so would all of these payments however each payment amount though same overall will have different ratio of interest to principal. So we have to find out that out of this second payment how much is the principal and then we have to find out what fraction of this payment is this principal that is how much percent of this payment amount comprises of this principal amount. So the first part is to find out this payment amount. Then we have to prepare an amortization schedule to find out the principal and interest components for this second payment. And then we have to find out how much percent of this payment is this principal. So while we have different methods and multiple methods to find out this payment and we have seen these different methods in the video for loan amortization fundamentals. So for the purpose of solving this example, I will use the formula for present value of an ordinary annuity because this is in the form of present value of an ordinary annuity. So we know the present value. These payment amounts are at the end of each year. So these are in the form of an ordinary annuity. So we can use the formula for present value of an ordinary annuity. So let me note down the formula. So the formula is present value is equal to A into bracket 1 divided by i 
minus 1 divided by i into 1 plus i to the power n. Here A is the annuity amount which is nothing but this payment. I is the rate of interest which is 7% and N is the number of periods which is 5. So let's plug in the values in this formula. So present value is 500,000. So or 500,000 is equal to A into bracket 1 divided by 0 0.07 minus 1 divided by 0 0.07 into 1 plus 0 0.07 to the power 5. So or 500,000 is equal to A into bracket. Now let's solve this. So let me first solve this portion here. So 1 plus 0 0.07 is 1.07 to the power 5. So x to the power y, 5 is equal to multiplied by 0 0.07, 1 by x, negative, and then plus 0 0.07 and the reciprocal of this so this is 4.1 so 4.1 or a is equal to 500,000 divided by 4.1 so let's find this value 500,000 divided by 4.1 so the answer is 121951.2 rupees. So basically this is the annual installment that your company has to pay in order to repay the loan. Now let's prepare an amortization schedule for repaying this loan. So this is the loan amortization schedule table. Let's first take the year one. So the beginning amount that needs to be repaid is 500,000. So 500,000. Payment that your company is making is this much. So 121951.2. Interest we have to calculate. So interest will be calculated on the beginning amount for that year and the rate of interest will be 7%. So we have to find out what is 7% of 500,000 rupees. So 500,000 into point zero seven. So that is 35,000. So this becomes 35,000. So out of the payment of 121951.2 rupees, 35,000 is payment towards interest. Now the remaining is payment towards principal. So we have to do 121951.2 minus 35,000. So 35,000 is negative and then we add 121951.2. So the principal amount is 8651.2 rupees. And now the remaining balance is the beginning amount because this is the entire principal that we have to pay out minus the principal amount that we have paid per the first installment. So 500,000 minus 869,51.2 rupees. So the, the way I am doing the calculation is that I'm going to make this negative and then add 500,000. So basically, you know, instead of doing 500,000 minus 869,51.2, 
since I already had 86951.2 on the calculator screen, I just made it negative and added 500,000. The same thing. So the balance is 413048.8 rupees. Now let's come to the second year. So the beginning amount for the second year is the remaining balance of the first year, which is 413048.8. Payment amount is the same. So 121951.2. Interest will be 7% of this amount because this is the principal remaining to be paid off. So we already have 413048.8 on the screen. We have to multiply with 0 0.07. So the interest amount is 28913.416. The principal will be the installment amount minus the interest. So we'll negate this and add 121951.2. So the principal amount is 93037.784. And now the remaining balance will be the beginning amount, which is the remaining principal to be paid off, minus the principal being paid off per the installment for second year. So this becomes negative and we add to this 413048.8. So the remaining balance is 320011.016. So we can continue the amortization schedule for the remaining three years, that is year three, year four, year five. However, the question being asked is for the payment that we are making at the end of the second year. So the question is what fraction of the payment made at the end of the second year will represent repayment of the principal. So basically we have to find out what fraction of this, which is the installment is this portion which is the principal component of this installment so basically 93037.784 divided by 121951.2 into 100 so 93037.784 in 200 divided by 121951.2 76.29 so this is equal to 76.29 percent so in other words 76.29 percent of the second year's installment is principal